Nigerian government has banned its political appointees and civil servants from undertaking foreign trips because of the new disease in town. Boss Mustafa, the secretary to the government of the Federation, SGF, announced the measure on Tuesday night after the inaugural meeting of the Presidential Task Force on Coronavirus. However, the ban affects only 13 countries where the virus is endemic. The countries are China, Iran, South Korea, Germany, Italy, USA, UK, Switzerland, Norway, Netherlands, Spain, France and Japan. Mustafa said the committee after its meeting concluded that all officials in the ministries, departments and agencies, including parastatas, to stop all forms of travels out of the country for whatever reasons. He said, we have decided to advise that all officials in the ministries, departments and agencies, including parastatas, that government has banned all forms of travels out of the country for whatever reasons, whether for meetings, bilateral, multilateral, conferences, seminars, workshops, and any form of other ceremonies. And this ban will remain in place until further notice and until the situation of pandemic nature of the COVID-19 stops. By this notice, any prior approval to travel abroad on official assignment during this period is accordingly resigned, he said. According to him, the committee has decided to urge the federal government to scale up the nation's health emergency system to the highest level and put in measures to curb further spread of the disease. The committee headed by the SGF also advised the citizens strongly in their own interest to cancel or postpone all non-essential travel abroad according to business and vacation trips. This is especially so, especially when it comes to the countries known to be seriously affected by the COVID-19. Secondly, we urge anyone returning to Nigeria from any country to strictly self-isolate for 14 days, and that all people returning from countries with high com community transmission rates, especially countries that have recorded a thousand cumulative cases and above, would be actively isolated for 14 days by the health authorities. He said the nation's chief scribe said the nigerian government was also in support of measures taken by the government of other countries particularly high burden countries who have urged their citizens to stay at home and avoid non-essential travels president buhari last week set up the 14-man presidential task force to monitor the development of covid 19 pandemic disease across the country and around the world Inaugurating the committee, Mr. Mustafa said the composition of the task force would enable Nigeria in its multi-sectoral and intergovernmental approach to the national response. Mustafa said the committee has six months to deliberate on the six terms of references given to it. Among the six point terms are strengthening the national response strategy, particularly in the areas of testing, containment and management of COVID-19, strengthen collaboration with all tiers of government, private sectors, faith-based organizations, civil societies, donors and partners. Mustafa announced the appointment of a national coordinator for the committee he is Dr. Sani Aliyu, who was appointed president by President Buhari. Ali will manage the daily activities of the committee in collaboration with existing institutions and structures, Mustafa said. The national coordinator will be responsible for cohesion and efficiency in the roles played by the different agencies operating in the treatment of the national response strategy, he said. Members of the task force committee, apart from the chairman, Boss Mustafa, are Dr. Osagi Ehaniri, Minister of Health, Mr. Geoffrey, Uyema, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Rauf Arekbeshola, Minister of Interior, Mr. Hadi Sirika, Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Services. Others are Mr. Adamu, Adamu, Minister of Education, Alaji Lai Mohammed, Minister of Information and Culture, Mr. Adeleke Mamura, Minister of State Health, Alaji Sulaiman Adamu, Minister Environments. The other members are Mr. Yusuf Bichi, Director General Department of State Services, Mr. Chikwe Tekwazu, Director General Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Who Control 
country representative, WHO country representatives in Nigeria, Dr. Wodima Gengehu Alemu Mustafa assured of the president's commitment to supporting the committee in ensuring safety and well-being of all Nigerians. Mm. So, guys, uh, that is uh, the latest uh, from the uh, federal government. I think it's a it's a welcome development. But in my opinion, I don't know what you guys think about this whole thing, because normally in other countries, they just all those countries with high level of a uh, this uh, COVID or what have you, that they have a high record of those disease, they are banning them. Don't even come at all. But now that the federal government is just trying to be to sit on the fence, they want those people to come in. You want those people from those countries to come into our country. You are telling our people to sit down because normally this thing on a on a normal day, you wouldn't have even come into our country if not that say uh, the first incident we recorded was this issue of uh, this Italian man that came in that came with this uh, whole thing. We wouldn't have recorded anything. So now our people, if you tell them to sit down, they can sit down because even you don't even need to tell them. They sit down and, you know, in their own country. But somebody will be bringing it. All those people from those uh, from those countries with high rates of uh, this uh, COVID we are talking about, they will come into this country. You say you want to isolate them or you are telling them to do self-isolation. Even if you tell Nigerians to do self-isolation, is it going to be possible? Even those who who that say uh, that they even discover that maybe they are in the same plane with other people, they finally they discover that majority of them even gave wrong numbers. They could not even contact them. They contacted the ones they could really uh, get in touch with before they isolated them. So now the best thing they always say prevention is better than cure. Now the government is trying to you know cancel all of those things from their from the government officials, not for them to ban all those uh, officials not to travel. But those people coming from that place, then why can't you ban them? If you cannot go there, because I don't know what they are trying to, what they, are, they want to gain for, for you to allow them to come. If you cannot go there because of a business or what have you, then why can't you just stop anything coming from that side so that it will not escalate? You don't want this thing to spread, but you are telling them to come in. You are going to isolate them or you want them to do self-isolation, how would that be possible? The best bet is not just allow them. I don't know what they are they are looking for. I don't know what they are they, they stand to gain. Because other countries have done it. Like I say, said, and they always say, prevention is better than cure. Instead of people start running a sketter and what have you, because once you are going to keep them, you know, isolate them, it's still money you are going to be spending. Then why can't they stay back? Other countries are doing it. They, are, they don't even want anybody from those countries. So come, UK, uh, US started it first. They told uh, UK people, if um, all these uh, European countries don't even come to the US, the next thing, they extended it to US and Ireland that they should not even come. So what are we afraid of? Why can't we do the same thing? You see, until when we start having a, 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 a large number of cases, that is when we will now take all of this in serious. At least we have been on, let me say, probation or maybe uh, injury time, all this while. You know, use that opportunity to make use of all the things that we need to do. Make use of that opportunity and put our house in order than for us to wait until things will escalate. We do, should not wait until things escalate before we do the needful. That is just my own opinion. But I don't know if this uh, step they are taking is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to be effective in the first place. The best thing, in my opinion, would have let those people, instead of saying that you want to isolate them for 14 days, shouldn't even come in in the first place because it's going to cost you money. Keeping them in a particular place is going to cost you money. So that is just the way I see this uh, whole thing. Uh, someone is saying here that uh, not only government appointees, it should be all Nigerians and also stop those countries from entering Nigeria. And that is it. You people must travel with your family now. Just go there and... <laughs> This person say now they don't want to travel. Let them travel. Somebody was just joking that uh, all of a sudden all these our politicians, all those people who are into who have been alleged of one uh, corrupt practice or the other, any little thing they say they want to go and treat themselves abroad, that they will not be hearing such things. I think this is the best time the judiciary will just start this issue of a uh, uh, all these people that they are they have a they, are, they have case in court so that they will be they begin to uh, treat their cases. All those who have been alleged that they have stolen money one way or the other, let them start dealing with their cases so that there will be no need for them to say, oh, or there will be no that opportunity for them to say, oh, we want to travel out, we want to go and get a, ourselves treated because now you say, no, 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 no good area for them. So on a lighter note, somebody was just suggesting that. Someone says safety and well-being of Nigeria citizenry 
is in God's hands. May God help us, uh, help our leaders. Someone said Donald Trump gave press talk yesterday with his medical teams on this uh, issue and also take serious steps to tackle the so-called Chinese virus. Why my president is busy setting committee? Just imagine. Oh. Mm. Now, so we say, um, some people will tell you that he does not need to talk, that the health minister, they've been talking, this is this boss minister, they've been setting up. Why can't the president come and, and speak to us? All the presidents in this whole country, they are, ad they are addressing their people. That does not mean that uh, they are, uh, this team, their uh, health uh, team are not really working. They will be telling you, according to their health uh, system or their health team, they are telling them what to do. They are the one advising them. They are coming out. Go to the UK, go to the US, leave all those uh, countries safe. Let's talk about African countries, Ghana, South Africa. Their presidents are the ones coming up to tell their people the situation of things. But in this our own case, they will just be feeling big man. I don't, I don't even know what, it's, the, what the problem is. Of course, a lot of things have been happening, we've been complaining. So Nigerians, we will not take and we will not see. Now, so uh, the kind of presidents we will not get with us. He's not going to talk to you. He will be using other people to talk. Others will be talking on his behalf. Boss Mustafa is talking now. Before you know, another person will talk. Before you know, Femi Adichino, you will send Femi Adichino, you will send Gabashi. Who doesn't mean all those other, other, other presidents do not have a, their own spokespeople. It's only Nigeria forming, forming big humanity. Someone say, have you banned people from the listed countries from entry, entering Nigeria? Good question. That is what we are asking. That should be the first thing. Once you ban those people, then you will not come to your people. These are the things that we want to do. But what is it? No. We do things upside down. So, guys, uh, let's hear your opinion concerning this. Whether it is a, uh, it's a good thing in the right direction that they have done. Or it should have been the other way around. Just like people are suggesting. Let's hear your own take. Thank you.